Hi folks, um, today I'm going to show you how to get free tethering, uh, 3G and 4G tethering, Wi-Fi tethering on your Epic 4G Touch. I know most of you guys know how to do it and I put it in my root video, but just in case for those of you who don't know, um, you just need to go root your phone. If you don't know how to root your phone, go to uh, epic4gtouch.com. I have full directions there. Uh, once you've rooted your phone, you can go download uh, this this app called Android Wi-Fi Tether. Just go to Google and type Android uh, Wi-Fi Tether, and you'll come to this site. Uh, it's on Google Pages. Nope. Turn on Wi-Fi here. Uh, my 4G is a little iffy. Oh, you'll see that uh, the Android Wi-Fi Tether app. Click there and then just click on downloads and uh, they have different versions but you can get any of them um, I've got the latest beta one simply go here and then click on the APK and it'll download download complete um, okay install application it might say that uh, your application is not uh, well you can't install third party then you can go to uh, applications and make sure unknown sources checked on and you should be able to do it fine so let me go install it again okay install and open and uh, you can go to settings and set up Wi-Fi encryption change SSID um, let me change this to um, touch Android Tether Touch, right? Oh, let's just call it Epic T T T T T, right? And uh, enable Wi-Fi encryption method, auto um, change password. Uh, that's fine. A B C D E F G H I J K L M up to N and I like to go on I recommend don't stay on channel 1 because a lot of default phones are channel 1 I like to go somewhere between 7 and 11 usually it's not as you know if you have too many Wi-Fi in the same channel you're gonna crash um, you can try doing a right route routing fix um, you probably won't have to it doesn't work or something uh, and then start tethering and a super user will ask you to hit allow. Uh, make sure you hit allow every time. But I've already done it. And then we can go verify that. Uh, oh, let's wait till my 4G connects here real quick. And then we'll do a speed test. So make sure it's on 4G. 4G network connected. Wi-Fi tether is working. And let's go to our computer. So I'm going to go connect to Epic TTT. Uh, by the way, only ad hoc is supported right now. That's just the software feature, but um, the Epic 4G Touch is capable of infrastructure. Uh, it just means that your com most computers support uh, ad hoc, but you can only connect one computer at a time. Um, for like, you know, if you're going to connect your Android tablet, you can hack it uh, with ad hoc um, by rooting. Anyway, go to Epic TTT Connect. I'm going to enter the password. Um, should ask me here. And the first time it might not work, then you can just, you know, um, try, try uh, restarting the Wi-Fi Tether app. And you'll get it eventually working after a couple tries. So I am connected. It took a little bit because uh, ad hoc, when you connect it, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, so don't be alarmed. Just give it like a minute. And let me see if the internet works. Hello. Um, not yet. You're supposed to uh, hear the sound on your phone going zzz, zzz, when it connects, but it didn't. Uh, so I'm going to try again. So I'm just going to turn it off. Alright, and it looks like my Wi-Fi encryption is not working. Um, you can go to show log and, uh, well, after you start it. Here, let me show you. Actually, Wi-Fi encryption is not working, so don't use it. Um, sorry. 
for my phone at least it's not working. Um, but we'll find a way to get it working. But for now you can tether on open, I guess. Which kind of sucks, but at least you get tethering. Uh, let me try to connect it again. Oh, I just heard the boo boo sound. So, so I am connected automatically. And let me do a speed test. Um, the first time might take a little bit longer. Come on. Yeah, I'm just gonna open the new window. Oh, there we go. Uh, it might be because I'm getting pretty. I'm not getting great 4G signals here in my basement here. Okay, it's kind of slow. The first time I, I made this video with the rooting video, it worked a lot quicker, but um, it could just be my my 4G signal today. Kind of sucks. Okay, I'm back on 3G. Um, for some reason, my 4G is really slow. Um, so that's how you tether, uh, but it should work. For, if you get good 4G signals, you should be able to tether 4G and 3, uh, 3G, no problem. Anyway, that's how you uh, tether, Wi-Fi tether. And I'll have an update for uh, encryption and also, um, yes, for encryption because I think it's in the kernel, uh, I gotta enable it. And also infrastructure. So that's actually my 3G speeds. I don't know why it sprints really slow, but I'm gonna go back to my cable DSL. Anyway, subscribe, uh, check out more hacks at Epic Touch 4G, epic4gtouchroot.com. Thanks y'all, and see y'all later.